A superhero for the Ronald McDonald House um, is someone who's obviously done so much to, to benefit families. And Tom's not only been involved with us recently, but before there was even a house, not only in Charleston, but in the state of West Virginia, Tom was involved. So the house that was built in 1985, thankfully, had Tom's involvement. And then we fast forward 30 years later, and we built a new Ronald McDonald House. So <laughs> who else do we call to be involved but Tom Flaherty? Yeah, I've had the pleasure of knowing Tom now for over 12 years, working with him uh, on our board at Brick Street. And the two things that really stand out for me, for Tom, to being a hero throughout the state, is one is his courage. He has the courage to take on tough tasks, tough things to do, great leader. Uh, not scared to roll his sleeves up and go out and try to raise money for causes or give his time for causes that's very important. And second thing is his patience. I think Tom's got a lot of patience. Not everything's going to go well. He takes time, steps back, makes sure he gets things done correctly. There are perhaps a handful of people in our lives, maybe a very small handful, of people that really are impact people. They have a, a way of influencing those around them. Whatever they do, wherever they go, they influence. Those impact people also have ways of leading people. They just tend to be in leadership position. And Tom Flaherty is one of those impact people in my life and in my experience. Um, I think Tom is a, uh, he's a gifted person, he's a good man, he is a skilled lawyer, and he, um, if you are fortunate enough to be in his world uh, and to know him, to work with him, to live near him, uh, he is a very, very good friend. For nearly 35 years, my friend Tom Flaherty has been a monumental contributor to Ronald McDonald House Charities of Southern West Virginia. He drafted the original lease and secured the largest single gift in its history. From the establishment of the original Ronald McDonald House in Kanawha City in 1985 to co-chairing the campaign for the new Ronald McDonald House last year, Tom has left a lasting impression on the charity that will be felt for countless generations to come. In fact, more than 25,000 West Virginia families have benefited from Tom's involvement. He, I would say if he were a superhero, he would be, uh, he, he would be the thing uh, from the Fantastic Four movies. Very hard on the outside when, needs, when he needs to be, um, creates a real impact when he needs to. But then you see those times when he is uh, considerate, compassionate, and, and frankly soft-hearted as he needs to be. And I landed on Spider-Man um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one. Uh, you know, if you go and research Spider-Man, a lot's talked about the kindness and the humility that Spider-Man has and how he gets things done that way. The second thing that, you know, when, you, when you're a spider, you spin a web and those webs have so many different uh, paths that you can take to get to a certain point. I think Tom does a great job of using those paths, using those connections to get things done. Only thing I'm scared about Tom being Spider-Man is now he's going to think he can go from building to building in, in Charleston is just as long as Tom does that during nighttime, not during work hours, because Brick Street's a workers' comp, and I know we have his workers' comp covers, so I don't want to have to be paying a workers' comp claim, because I know Tom will fall from those buildings. But I think overall, you, he's a very, very humble person, and I know he's sitting in the audience tonight thinking about he doesn't deserve this award, but I can't think of somebody more deserving than Tom Flaherty. Um, according to Stan Lee, which Stan Lee, of course, he's as the expert. He is. He. If anyone knows super, superheroes, Stan Lee knows superheroes. So a superhero is a person who does heroic deeds and has the ability to do them in a way that a normal person couldn't. So honestly, I think Tom Flaherty is his own superhero because <laughs> the deeds that he's done is not something that just any of us could go out and do. His devotion to whatever he does is just superb. He takes everything. Uh, as a very important calling. He doesn't leave any stones unturned. He is committed to doing the right thing in the right way. And most importantly, he's a devoted uh, husband and father and someone who believes deeply in the state of West Virginia. So indeed, he is a hero, not just for the Ronald McDonald House, but for the state of West Virginia. And I cannot compare him to anyone who may already, uh, that you may already know, because to me, Tom Flaherty is a superhero in his own right. So 
So congratulations, Tom, on this very special recognition. There is no one, and let me underscore that again, there is no one more deserving. It's just amazing to be able to, to see someone who has so much influence, um, that is so humbled, um, who is doing it for the reasons that we all should. You know, we all have talents. There's something that we can all do to benefit others. Tom's truly done that, and, and not just for a few years. He's done that for a lifetime. Um, and he still has many, many, many more years to go. However, we're not building a new Ronald McDonald house. We just did that. So, um, but no, truly, um, you know, to be able to take the talents that he has and to benefit so many others, there is no person better for this, for this award this evening, for, for being our first honoree, our first hero. Um, it, it was obvious. It, it, it should be you. Your involvement's been there for, for over 30 years. Um, you've made me a better, better person. You've made our staff, our volunteers, um, our board better. Uh, but most importantly, you've made our families better. And the, the kids that we serve, you've made them better. So, Tom, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, um, not just from me, but from all of us at the Ronald McDonald House. Congratulations. Congratulations.